Okay guys, so today is the VIB sale at Sephora and this is just a sneak peek of everything that I'm getting. So you guys can see here first, because we are going to be doing a haul and as you can see it's going to be pretty long. So I'm getting all of these things. It might seem like a lot, but I take full advantage of the sale. Well the first thing is these hourglass foundations. These are the Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundations and they're mattifying. So I kind of want to do a first impression um, video with these. And these are the two colors that they sent me, Chestnut and Sable. So I hope I like these because I'm all about matte foundations, especially in the summertime. And then we both got this from Becca. I think it's their new bronzers. Yeah, these are their new Sunlight Bronzers. So they have five different shades. Okay, so these are all the colors. These could probably be like highlights for me or something because they're way too light. That looks like a blush, kind of. So I'll use that as a blush, even though I haven't used blush in so long. And then this one may work, but honestly, it, it's still a little light to me because I compare everything to my Guerlain bronzer because it's so dark and it's like perfect for my skin tone. So I don't know. These are a little light to be bronzers to me. I also got a pair of shoes from Sammy Shoes. These are so cute. So they're like not boots but like booties and they tie in the front so these are really cute then we both got another package from hourglass by the way this is all my stuff kendra is over here opening her 500 packages that you are trying to you trying to sell all right now <laughs> it is a lot so like most of hers isn't isn't pr it's just like a few pr things so i'm just showing you the same pr things that kendra got so she won't have to show you because she hasn't opened hers yet but these yeah. are the new <laughs> shut up kendra Okay, so these are all the blushes. They're really pretty, actually. This is a little too light for me, but these two look pretty good for my skin tone. Um, this one is like more neutral. I maybe you can work with this one. Not sure yet, but these are all considered bronzers. So I might keep some. I might not. I might give some of them away. Um, but yeah, these are all of the colors. So all the big ones are bronzers, and then the smaller ones are blush. My phone cases finally came in. These are the mirrored ones I always get, but of course I needed a new size for the seven. So I just got silver gold and rose gold. It's from the same brand that I uh, got the last ones from. And you can just search mirror phone cases on Amazon and these will come up. And then I also got a marble one because I had a marble one last time, but I got that one from Target for my old phone, but it got dirty really fast. So hopefully this one doesn't get dirty. Um, so I really like marble a lot, so got that one. I'm still waiting on two more that I mentioned to you guys, the ones that look like Chia Pets, but I'm still waiting on those. So I got these liquid lipsticks. This is Kendra, by the way, if you can tell by my nails. Um, I got these Morphe liquid lipsticks because I've heard good things about them and they have some really pretty colors and the three colors that I got, come on, focus. I got the color Jealousy, Suspect, and Peanut. And this is a cream lip polish that I got for free. I didn't, I don't remember buying this. I think it came like as like a perk with a purchase. I don't know, but I know for a fact that I bought these. So, so this is Jealousy. It's like a lighter nude color, uh, like a peachy nude, and it's like the perfect neutral. So, got that. And this is Suspect. It's like a true peach, like mauve color. It's really pretty. I can't wait to wear this one. And I really wanted to try these because of this particular color which is peanut it's like a orangey like terracotta color it's really pretty kind of reminds me of the Oprah cosmetics i think it's americano we'll see how i like these it kind of reminds me of ginger also from kylie cosmetics so we'll see how that works and i think this is a gloss not sure it looks like a gloss to me i don't know if it's opaque or clear we'll see and this is called social and the Morphe Cream Lip Polish. We'll see how that is. The, this packaging reminds me of like old school lip gloss beauty supply store packaging. Okay guys, so I'm gonna rewash my hair today and it's kind of annoying because I just washed it the day before yesterday. So it's actually clean, but I have product residue. So now it's kind of back dirty again because I tried a new product. Oh, my mirror's dirty. Because I tried a new product. Um, well, I tried two new products actually. But Kendra has actually used one of these already. She's already used this and she said this probably wasn't the thing that gave me product residue. So I'm going to try this again actually. But I'm going to try it on its own. I'm just going to see how it works by itself. But this gave me so much product residue. My hair has so many flakes in it right now. This is the Living Proof Curl Defining Styling Cream. And I don't like this. So 
I don't know if I'm going to throw it away or give it away, but I mean, this wasn't cheap, so I really don't want to throw it away, but I don't like how it works on my hair. I actually kind of hate how it works because I have like so many flecks in my hair. So I don't know. I mean, it defined my curls really good, but the product residue is just, I can't deal with it. And I didn't even apply a lot of this. Most creams, I don't apply that much because I don't want product residue. So if I would have applied more of this, I would have had even more product residue. So this did not work for me. So no, but I am going to try this again um, to see how I like it. By the way, a few of you guys were asking me to do a product organization video. And honestly, as you can see, I have no organization as of right now. Like, these are my curly hair products. These are stylers. So, like, these are creams and gels. And these are all leave-in conditioners. And these are my straight hair products. Do you see how low maintenance straight hair products is? This is, like, literally one basket for straight hair products. And then these are... Uh, curly hair deep conditioners and oils so I have oils in here too so oh then I have some rich and stuff back there but that's like included in my straight hair stuff so as you can see like it's way 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 too unorganized for me like this gives me anxiety so I need to figure out a way to get this more organized because I don't have that much room under the sink I really don't have that much room for more product so yeah um I'm almost done with some of this stuff though Oh, I'm pretty much done with this. This Carol's Daughter Prakashi Nectar Wash and Go Leave-In. This was okay. I wasn't that big of a fan of it because when it was in my hair, it looked okay, but I kept comparing everything that I was using at the time to my Ozzy Moist, and I kept comparing it to my whole blends, which I still need to get another one of these. I love this stuff. A lot of people were complaining and said that it didn't work for their hair, but guys, honestly, everything that we recommend there's no guarantee that everybody's gonna like it. We just recommend what works for us. Um, so I'm actually done, almost done using this. I actually have a whole nother one because they were buy one, get two, I think free? No, buy two, get one free, I can't remember, from Sally's. So I actually have a whole nother one back here, but I don't really like this. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. Maybe I'll put them in a giveaway bag or something. So I'll probably just give this one away because I haven't used it yet, so I'll leave that out. I actually need to go through and like clean some of this stuff out because honestly, I'm not obsessed with all these products, so I should only keep the products that I really, really like. But I haven't tried all these yet, so that's why I have so many. So I'm trying to get through them and try all them to see what um, I'm obsessed with. And then if I'm not obsessed with it, then I'll just either give it away to my mom or something, family members. There's a lot of women in my family, so they could benefit from it because I don't want to put anything used in a giveaway bag, but I haven't used this yet. So, um, cause I had two, so I know that I didn't like it because I used pretty much more than half of this bottle, but it wasn't that great to me. Like, honestly, it wasn't that moisturizing. I feel like my hair just drunk this up. Um, it smelled really good, but I don't know. It worked good, but not great. Um, y'all know this is my baby. I love this. But it's not that cheap. I wish Miss Jessie's would like go down all their prices, but whatever. This leave-in condition is amazing. I actually have two. What else is in here? Oh, this is really good. I haven't used this in forever. This is from Trader Joe's. This is the Nourish Spa Conditioner. You can use this by itself and it defines your curls and leaves them moisturized. So this is really good. There's so much stuff in here, y'all. This is ridiculous. Some more OGX products, Shea Moisture. This is ridiculous. Oh, I forgot I had this BB Curl Conditioner in here. Because I've been only using the uh, current, the styling cream. Oh, then I have this Curly Bell Leave-In Conditioner. I love her deep conditioner. It smells so good. And this is, oh, is this the same thing? Thirsty Curls Leave-In Conditioner? I don't think it's the same thing. Oh no, it's the same thing. It's two of them. How did I get two? I think, oh, I actually think I bought one of these and then the other she sent with like a package. I guess it's just, I'm giving you guys a curly hair tour. This was not planned, by the way. I was just trying to show y'all how unorganized all this crap is. Like, it's ridiculous. I need more room. Okay, these are my stylers. So I don't go through stylers as fast as leave-in conditioners because I only apply a little bit. Oh, even though I didn't use this as a styler, I actually used this as a leave-in. Because I used a lot of this. Um, I showed you guys this last week. This is what I had in my hair last week. And I love, love, love this. But I don't know how often I'm going to be buying it. Because it's kind of pricey. Oh, this works so well. This is the ORS Minoy Oil. 
anti-breakage curl perfecting smoothie cream this works so good a little bit goes a long way with this though so you only need like maybe a quarter size amount on each side of your hair depending on your hair texture now it depends on your hair texture that's what i do for me so if your hair texture is similar to mine you don't need a whole lot um because you want to be careful of product residue so this didn't really leave any product residue in my hair and it worked really nicely um when i put this in my hair my hair lasted for about uh but maybe five or six days so almost a whole week and i used this along with my ozzy moist conditioner so those two together are like so bomb what else do i have in here oh i forgot i need to throw this away too because this like left product residue oh my bb curl i showed this to you guys last week too i used it with that multicultural curls so i really like this a lot it is kind of pricey you can get these products at sephora by the way somebody was asking me where did i get this and i got this from sephora so this brand is at sephora i did not like this the smell actually gives me a headache it's like a little too strong for me so i wasn't a big fan of this um i'm obsessed with the packaging though it's really pretty but kendra really liked this so i think i'm gonna give this to her this is a gel cream i wasn't a big fan of it so i think i'm gonna give this to kendra because she liked it a lot for her hair i haven't tried this design essentials gel yet this is the natural honey curl forming custard and this smells so good me and Kendra smell this in Sally's and honestly we bought it because of the smell to be honest because I don't use a lot of design essentials products because they kind of make my hair a little greasy so I hope I like this um it's like a finisher for summertime when I'm trying to like control my frizz so I hope I like this because it smells so good it smells amazing like this is one of the most amazing smelling products I've ever smelled so hopefully it's one of the most amazing gels I've ever used because I always compare any gel I use to my Kinky Curly Curling Custard. Well, I guess this wouldn't be considered a gel if it's a custard, but custard and gel is in the same family to me, so. Um, on my Style Milk, one of my favorites. I used to always use this when I did braid outs and twist outs. So if you do a lot of braid outs and twist outs, you can use this because it gives you definition, but like a soft definition. So your hair won't be like crunchy or anything. So this is really nice. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, I haven't even tried this yet. This is the Transitioner's Magic. Um, this was in some of the swag bags at our book signing. So I'll let you guys know how I like this Transitioner's Magic considering I'm no longer transitioning. But it might work pretty good on like my heat damage spots areas. Because I literally have like one heat damage area in the front. On the left side is so annoying. I don't know what... It is about that left side. I'm gonna do my research on that because it's like really annoying because the rest, the rest of my hair like curls perfectly. And you guys know the Pillow Soft Curls is like my number one. Just wish Miss Jessie's products weren't so pricey because I go through this so fast when I whenever I use this because I use a lot of this. So I actually use this as a leave-in conditioner but I just have it over here with the stylers because it's considered a styler and it smells absolutely amazing. I need to get another one actually. I always pair this with my leave-in condition from now. I think I mentioned that to you guys last summer. Um, I used to actually like this curling meringue when it was in the jar, but I honestly feel like the formula might be different since they put it in this packaging because I used this on my hair, I think. When did I try this? I can't remember, but I actually um, used this before and I actually hated it. So I think I might give this one away because I wasn't into how my curls looked. They had flakes in them and then they felt kind of dry. So it's funny how like I used my hair used to like something, but my hair has changed over the years. So I don't really like this on my hair currently. So I wasn't feeling that one. Oh, I showed you this. Um, I think I showed you guys this the other like maybe a month ago. I used this with my whole blends. This is the Naturalistas Styling Cream. This works really nicely and it smells so, so good. So this is another gel that Kendra found on Amazon. This is the Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. And this works really nicely. It's like a lightweight gel, honestly. I'm not one of those eco styler gel girls when it comes to my curls. I just, I'll use it to put my hair in a bun, but that's about it. But I really like this on my curls. It works really nicely for the summertime. So I like this gel, it was really nice. All right guys, that's it for my little mini curly hair tour. Not intentional. Uh, but I did get rid of a couple of products. I actually need to go through and see what else I have in there to see what else I need to get rid of. Hi guys, so it's Friday and Kendra and I actually just filmed a chit chat get ready with us using one brand of makeup. And we're about to get ready to go to 
dinner with Keisha and Kaya. So we're gonna meet them at their house first and then head over there. We'll try to vlog some since we didn't vlog uh, last weekend with Simone. Cause like I told you guys, I didn't want to be rude and put out the camera. We were when we were having like deep conversation like serious conversation so uh yeah we will try to vlog tonight this is just my outfit just wearing a guest t-shirt and some jeans these are good american and then i got this t-shirt from urban outfitters from the men's section because they had better t-shirts to me um by the way these jeans are so comfortable um if anybody has been thinking about investing in any of the good american jeans i highly recommend them a lot of people be in their feelings about the kardashians but seriously it's not that serious it's just clothes but these jeans are so comfortable they're like super stretchy and like really soft material so these are really good investments i don't mind me or kendra we don't mind investing in like really good like jeans or like a good handbag because they last so long and you save money because you don't have to keep repurchasing jeans over and over again so these are like super comfortable these are the good waist, so they are a little bit high waisted, so I like that as well about them. And this is like my second or third time wearing them. They're so comfortable. Um, we're about to film our outro right quick, and then be outro, be out the dough. <laughs> oh, by the way, I wanted to show you guys my hair. I actually like how it turned out. Um, I did have a little frizz in the front, but it still turned out pretty with the um, that OGX Miracle Coconut Oil. Isn't that the name conditioner. of it? Conditioner. Conditioner. And I only put that in my hair because I was trying to test it to see how I liked how it worked by itself. And you were right. It wasn't this with the product residue. Mm -hmm. It was that. I told you it was the living proof. Yeah, stuff. you were right. It was the living proof stuff. So um, I'm going to give that away or throw it away like I told y'all. But I like how my curls turned out with just that conditioner. So at least we know we can like start using like conditioner like by itself. It's stylers and like leave-in conditioner. Yeah, because I don't always have time to do the lock method. Are getting ready to go see the fate of the furious that's the name of it yes the name of it so the uh eighth fast and the furious movie um i hope it's good because this is the first number. time we've seen like one of the newer ones in theaters because the last two we both we saw both of those at home like after they came out yes. on demand and stuff we're going to send a bistro um where you eat like an actual meal and watch the movie we don't do this often because it's kind of pricey mm -hmm. but we vlogged there before i think last time we were there we went to see bad moms so it's been a while i think that came out like last fall or winter i thought it was summer was it summer it oh like it was wait summer. never mind it was last summer yeah oh then it's been a while mm -hmm. so yeah we're going to send a bistro and i don't know what i'm gonna order but i'm really hungry and eight is our favorite number so we hope it's really good and eight is our favorite number because our birthday is november 8th and it's an even number. and it's an even number and kelsey and i like even numbers and we don't really like odd numbers i know it sounds so random but <laughs> eight is like the best number <laughs> and if you guys are wondering what highlight i'm wearing i'm wearing the kylie cosmetics chocolate cherry highlight um i ordered that one online the other day and i'm obsessed like it's so pretty i feel like that one suits my skin tone the best because it's like a nice like champagne gold like sheen it doesn't it's not extra like some highlighters where you feel like it's too much it's like buildable you can make it extra or you can make it like more toned down but the packaging is so sturdy and like heavy it's really nice oh and on my lips is brown sugar which i've only worn once aside from today from really? Kylie Cosmetics. Kelsey wears it all the time. Yeah. But I really like it. I feel like my makeup's kind of fall today, even though it's spring, but I can't get away from fall if I try. Yeah, I like the eye look. It's really warm. Yeah, I have like a warm eye. My lashes, I put them on in like 60 seconds, which is kind of fast, and they probably falling off now because we were rushing. Mm -mm. Like in the in the um, front, because I usually cut oh. these, but I just ripped them off the pack and then just put them on. Which so, ones are those? 614s, I think. Oh, I don't cut the 614s. You don't? Mm -mm. Well, that's weird. It doesn't mean my eyes like my eyes not smaller than yours. My eyes are actually smaller than yours. Yeah. No, I just work with it. Huh. I like uh, the fullness of it. It looks fuller to me. Because when I cut it, I feel like I don't get the full lash look. Oh, got so. it.